You guys, we are at Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona, and how cool are the rigs here? There are big vehicles, small vehicles, new ones, old ones, and each one is as unique and different as the next. I'm gonna go check a whole bunch of them out and show you some of my faves. There is so much that I love about Overland Expo. Between all the gear and all the classes and all the cool vehicles, it's like the entire event is designed to inspire you to do something amazing. How would you like to change the tire on this thing? How do you even get this off? Like you need a high lift jack just to get your tire off. How do you even do that? So this is super classic. This is an Alaskan camper and these things have been around forever. Such a great design. They pop up and pop down while you're traveling and they make this awesome bed. You drop them into your pickup truck. I feel like these are virtually unchanged since the 70s. Now this is my kind of overlanding rig. I love this, it's so classic. I wonder if we can find the guy who owns it. So we found this about eight years ago and it was up in Reno. Uh, we paid 2,500 bucks for it. This is before everything exploded in the C10 market. Since then we've done air lockers and lower gears in the transmission. We did a four speed automatic and fuel injection and all those things, but we wanted this patina. So you'll see that you'll, you've still got a refrigerator and some of those, but when you look in there, we try to use the wooden boxes and all the plastic parts, right? Yeah. You know, so we've got pressure lanterns, pressure stoves. We've got the classic sink with the uh, bat gammon on one side and the chest on the other. Oh, wow. Let's check this thing out. What's your favorite part? My favorite part is all the storage inside. Oh, awesome. They do such a good job with the use of space. Inside. Yeah, this is our 15 foot. Down. And so what other sizes do you have? Uh, 11 foot to 23 foot. Perfect. Yep. Super cool. Yeah. So we run the U.S. Corporation out of Colorado. Okay. And we build all of our units out of the Netherlands nice. and ship worldwide. I heard you ask uh, Roxanne what her favorite part was. Yeah. Is that the storage? Mine is the motorcycle rack. Oh, uh, man after my own heart. Such a winning combo to have the truck and the bike yeah. and to like set up a base camp. That's awesome. Maybe we can check out the inside. Yeah, let's think? go see. What are these cool hinges? Wow. Oh my God, look at your little wine glass holders. Yep. So what is this, the bathroom? So that's the bathroom. Wow, cool. And then is there a shower as well? Yeah, that's to your right. That's as big as the shower in my house in Flagstaff. <laughs> so cool. I could definitely live in this. I'm gonna sit in the driver's seat just for fun. Oh yeah, you feel like the king of the universe in this thing. Copy. <laughs> I love it. You guys, this is so cool. I love how the vehicles range from like small and simple and tidy to big and extravagant and amazing. And this thing is incredible. It's like full luxury and just so much fun. This is Carl from Toyo Tires. He's gonna talk to us a little bit about his Bronco Sport. So you love this vehicle. I love it, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I really do. What's so cool about it? Um, I mean, other than the fact that it's a Bronco and it's yours. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a, it's a new chassis, it's a new car. I wanted a smaller SUV, CUV. Yep. Um, I came from a Subaru Crosstrek. Cool. And that was just a little underpowered. Yep. And then when I saw the Bronco Sport come out and all the features it had, I was like, oh man, I have to have that. So yeah. I bought it and, you know, no regrets. So it has uh, like 250 horsepower, 270 pound-feet of torque. So awesome. it, it scoots. Good, that's awesome. <laughs> and you're running some Toyo tires on here? Of course, of Absolutely. course, the Toyo AT3. It's our newest tire and it's, uh, it just does everything so well and it's uh, snow and ice rated as well. So when I go up to the mountains and uh, Big Bear, you know, I never get stranded or stuck in the snow or ice. I love it, that's awesome. Well, high five, thanks so yeah. much. All Appreciate right. ya. Oh man, I hope I get a cozy. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. This you get like your kind of living room vibes going on with your bed up above and then like a whole extra sleeping place back behind. Oh my God, look at this thing, it's huge. I think these guys are brand new. It's called the Wander Box and it is massive. I could definitely spend my entire life living inside of this thing. Let's go check it out.
This is definitely like a house on wheels. It is so big and so spacious. Full-size refrigerator. This is bigger than the fridge in my house. This is awesome. We have a king-size bed back there and a queen up front here. It's actually a 34 by 32 uh, shower there. So it's as big as one you'd find in a house. I definitely feel like this is like one of those long-term living situations. Like I would just move into this, sell everything else I own, and just roll around in this forever. Did you get to drive this down? I did, yeah. Nice. It drives great. I bet it does. <laughs> Super long wheelbase. How long is it? Do you uh, know off the top of your head? Yeah, it's about 227. This bigger one actually has a liquid um, computer-controlled hydraulic suspension okay. in the back. Um, it's the same it's the same system that they use in ambulances. Yeah, so this is a live edge uh, bar table. So cool. uh, it of course slides in and out. And when it's in, you we have two seats here cool. that both fold up. Uh, and they have five seat belts on them. And so you can actually use them because we have a pass through as well, so they're DOT proof. You guys, how cool are these rigs? There is so much cool stuff here. I would take any one of these vehicles and drive around the world tomorrow. At the end of the day, all of this stuff wants you to get out there and do the thing and have an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed what we had to see here and I can't wait to check out some more.